<laughs> New England. Uh, no, excuse me. Inter Miami FC. Throw it over to Inter Miami FC's newest fan. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, they lost their first preseason game the other day to Philly. Uh, they lost two one off a ridiculous volley from Orjak. Um, but they looked, I mean, fairly solid. They set up as a four five one, which is I think what most people expected. Um, Juan Agudelo up top behind a midfield of Trap, Ujoa, Pellegrini, Argudo, and Lee Wynn. Um, Rodolfo Pizarro came on and scored before they announced him as a signing. <laughs> so, I mean, already a legend. Um, but I think, again, this team has enough MLS experience and talent as far as the younger guys to surprise some people this year. Um, they've they had th- two of the first three draft picks uh, this year, so they signed Dylan Nealis and Robbie Robinson. So I, I mean, I think I'm excited to see what these guys can do. That being said, I don't know, I don't know who does the scheduling at MLS, <laughs> but their first five games are a nightmare. They're away to LAFC. Oh. They're away to DC. Then they're home to the Galaxy, the Red Bulls, and the Union. Yeah, that's not easy. Uh, I mean, compare that to Atlanta's, where they have Nashville, Cincinnati, SKC, Chicago, and Cincinnati again. Yeah. What? <laughs> How is that fair? It's what you get, Beckham. You should have joined the league that's... in 2012, like we all told you to. It's trial by fire, if I've ever seen it. <laughs> um, yeah, we talked about these guys a lot. I'm not gonna not gonna harp on them too much, but you know, backline's experienced. Midfield's explosive and young. Front line is unproven and or really injured. So you're going to need to find somebody to put the ball away. Pizarro's a good start to do that. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting team to watch this year. Um, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Nice. Two, three...